Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. On December 24th, 10 cities and counties of Gyeonggi Province vied for provincial support, totaling 60 billion Korean won for autonomous projects at the finals of an administration policy contest titled New Gyeonggi Policy Contest. The top prize went to Paju City, which secured provincial support of 10 billion Korean won for its project. The competition site was packed with supporters for 10 administrations that had qualified for the finals through a 3 to 1 competition rate. During the contest, the finalists were each given seven minutes to present their policies in front of 20 judges. In between presentations, the venue was filled with excitement and cheers from supporters using various cheering methods, including illuminated balloon sticks and placards. This competition, which was divided into large and general scale project categories, was organized with the objectives of identifying effective local projects while utilizing provincial budgets more efficiently. The top prize of 10 billion Korean won went to a Paju City project for the development of a former U.S. military base into a culture and art complex. The second prize of 8 billion Korean won went to Shihung City for its Gyeonggi Marine Science Museum project. The third prize winner, Goyang City, secured 6 billion Korean won for its ecological, historic and tourism belt development project on the Han River estuary. Project selection was based on consistency with the core values of fairness, peace and welfare as pursued by the Gyeonggi Provincial Administration. With pet ownership increasing, Gyeonggi Province announced comprehensive animal welfare policies consisting of 12 programs in four fields, including communication, coexistence, respect for life, and animal industry management and promotion for implementation by the year 2022. Do, the owner of a three-month-old dog, visited a veterinary clinic to register her dog. She chose a microchip implant instead of wearable items for dog identification and proof of registration. 사랑하는 반려견 잃어버리지 않고 잃어버렸을 때도 꼭 찾을 수 있게 끌어. For two years from 2019, Gyeonggi Province will provide microchip implant cost support for 50,000 dogs annually. This is geared to prevent the straying of dogs through communication. To promote a public sense of coexistence with animals, Gyeonggi Province will increase the number of dog playgrounds. Gyeonggi will also launch a stray cat neutering cost support program and establish the Northern Gyeonggi Wild Animal Rescue and Management Center. To promote respect for life, Gyeonggi Province will provide adoption cost support of up to 200,000 Korean won for 7,000 animals annually. In the pet industry management and promotion field, the province will designate 30 additional happy livestock farms. Gyeonggi Province will implement a total of 12 animal welfare programs by the year 2022. <laughs> 그리고 반려인 비반려인이 서로 배려하고 이해하는 동물 어, 문화 정, 어, 복지 문화를 정착시키고 어, 연관 산업 육성 관리로 올바른 성장 유도 및 일자리 창출에 에, 기여하는 것. Other animal welfare programs include the formation of a pet theme park in Yeoju City and the establishment of animal shelters and hospitals as well as animal related cultural centers. Gyeonggi Province revealed its three-year plan to enhance fire helicopter safety through the addition of related devices. Fire helicopters are being used for firefighting, rescue operations, and emergency medical assistance. When a three-vehicle accident recently occurred on a steep road in Gapyeong County, 
the swift transportation of the injured individuals to a hospital was made possible by a fire helicopter. Fire helicopters are mobilized in a range of situations such as fires, accidents and disasters, as well as related education. There are three fire helicopters currently operating in Kyungi province. With fire helicopter demand increasing, their safety has also become an issue. 각 관제 기관에서 저희 쪽에 물론 주변 항공기가 있다고 통보는 해주지만 그게 갑자기 좋아하다 보니까 좀 당황스러울 수도 있고 좀 상당히 어려운 여건이 많습니다. Gyeonggi Province has set aside 2.7 billion Korean won to equip its three fire helicopters with autonomous safety devices by the year 2021. These devices include a radar that provides real-time weather information, low-altitude alarms, and mid-air collision prevention systems. The helicopter that is most frequently used in medical emergencies will be the first to have these devices installed. 긴급하게 저희 헬기를 찾을 때가 너무 많은데 그때 저희가 이제 그 최단 항로를 선택할 수도 있고 그리고 기상을 안 좋은 지역을 회피해서 어 도민을 구조할 수 있어서 훨씬 더 유용할 것 같습니다. Gyeonggi Province also plans to purchase an emergency medical helicopter known as Helicopter Doctor already equipped with such safety devices. With only half a year having passed since the launch of the new Kyungi Provincial Administration, its administrative principles, often referred to as core values, have already deeply permeated all administrative affairs. GTV reviewed the results of the current administration in the pursuit of these values in seven categories. First, we looked at results in fairness and innovation. From the beginning of his term, Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung had a strong grip on the rudder of Gyeonggi Province. His first message to provincial officials was suppress the stronger and support the weaker. With suppress the stronger and support the weaker as its foremost value, the Kyungi Provincial Administration began making changes. The first such change was the improvement of working conditions for garbage collectors and firefighters. Next was an increase in the proportion of female officials promoted to level 5 positions to an unprecedented 35.4%. 내가 어떻게 하느냐에 따라서 우리 후배 여성 공무원들이 발전할 수 있는 성장할 수 있는 기반이 되지 않을까? In addition to audits of public office employment cases, there are movements to eradicate deep-rooted illegal activities such as favors and unfair trade. Strong measures have also been taken to prevent collusive tenders. Through the reinforcement of the Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police, more than 500 fraudulent real estate acquisition tax reports by habitual tax delinquents were uncovered, while long unpaid taxes totaling more than 21 billion Korean won could be collected from concealed deposits. The initiatives undertaken by Gyeonggi Province, such as public construction project cost disclosure and CCTV camera installation in surgical rooms at a provincial hospital in Ansong City, quickly drew national interest. Following the CCTV camera installation at this hospital, Gyeonggi Province plans to install cameras in the surgical rooms of all remaining provincial medical center hospitals. Innovation in construction fields included the introduction of standard market prices and a sale after construction system, as well as the rationalization of wages. Construction cost disclosure was undertaken with public projects valued at more than 1 billion Korean won, as well as joint public and private projects. The Gyeonggi Provincial Administration also took the first step toward the realization of an innovative tax policy, a land occupation tax as a public basic income source. Gyeonggi Province has already established a basic income committee for this purpose and plans to propagate the basic income concept nationwide through various endeavors.
GTV's second report about the results of the current Kyungi Provincial Administration in 2018 focuses on the improvement of the livelihood of individuals in low-income brackets, as well as on safety. The categories or core values in these contexts include economy, employment, labor, and safety. During the first calendar year of the current Kyungi Provincial Administration, a large number of new policies were undertaken, especially in these categories, including the planned introduction of regional vouchers and the helicopter doctor. This coming March, regional vouchers will be introduced as an alternative to currency for use exclusively at small businesses and traditional markets throughout the province. These vouchers will also be used by the province for certain welfare payments. Kyungi Province plans the issuance of regional vouchers amounting to almost 1.6 trillion Korean won over four years, beginning with almost 500 billion Korean won issued this year alone. Last year, Happy Town Guard offices opened at five locations in the province. Recruited from among local residents, the guards perform community services such as regular patrols, the escorting of women, and receiving deliveries. When expanded to the entire province, these community guard offices will provide more than 2,000 jobs. Kyungi Province is ready to introduce a number of new labor policies this year. In February, the Kyungi Province Center for Labor Rights and Interests will be established in the Northern Kyungi Provincial Government Complex to undertake labor policy development, education, and related services. With the passage of the related ordinance, the labor director system, in which provincial organization employees participate in organization management as members of boards of directors, will be implemented in 11 out of 25 provincial organizations from January. This system will help management transparency to improve while ensuring the rights of employees. The first task that the Kyungi Provincial Administration undertook in the safety field was the improvement of working conditions for firefighters. Kyungi Province also plans to begin the 24-7 operation of an exclusive medical emergency helicopter titled Helicopter Doctor this year. By March, fire alarms will be installed at more than 2,500 private residential study rooms. Kyungi Province will strengthen its control over illegal food and environmental business practices. The inspection fields of the Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police will be expanded from the current 6 to 15 to eradicate illegal practices that negatively affect the lives of residents. With the advent of the new year, Kyungi Province announced a new administrative slogan, New Kyungi, Fair World, that represents the core values pursued by the current administration. Signs bearing the slogan have already been installed on the exteriors of Kyungi Provincial Government buildings. New Kyungi denotes the determination of the administration to create a Kyungi Province desired by residents, while Fair World represents the core values pursued by the administration. 민선 7기 도정의 핵심 가치인 공정, 평화, 복지를 기반으로 촛불혁명을 통해서 국민들이 이루고자 했던 공정한 세상을 만들어 나가겠다는 비전이 담겨 있습니다. The design for the slogan incorporates elements that can be understood easily. The joining of two letters at the center of the slogan symbolizes solidarity and peace. The sky blue and earth brown colors represent the realization of people's dreams. 어, 민선 7기의 철학과 비전이 담겨져 있는 슬로건으로서요 어, 어떤 각종 홍보물과 또 행사에서 도민들과 빨리 친숙해질 수 있도록 The new Kyungi Provincial Administration slogan will be used in a variety of formats as a provincial policy brand image. To wrap up the review of the results of the Kyungi Provincial Administration in 2018, 
GTV will now focus on the remaining elements of key administration fields, welfare, housing, and peace. Gyeonggi Province has introduced a number of new customized welfare programs. The most notable are three free welfare payment programs that will be implemented from this year. Youths who have resided in Gyeonggi Province for more than three years and reached the age of 24 will receive regional vouchers valued at 1 million Korean won as a youth dividend. For each newborn baby, free postnatal care support of 500,000 Korean won will be paid to families through regional vouchers. The first-year students of middle schools, approximately 120,000 students annually, will receive free school uniform cost support. Including free military injury insurance coverage, the welfare budgets of Gyeonggi Province for this year will amount to approximately 10 trillion Korean won. 아무래도 복지 예산은 도민에게 직접적으로 피부와 닿기 때문에 우리 도민들이 내년에 삶의 질이 굉장히 향상될 거라고 기대돼 되고. The housing policies of Gyeonggi Province aim to eliminate housing problems for all residents. Gyeonggi Province has resolved air pollution issues regarding an asphalt concrete plant in Anyang City. The provincial administration will supply 200,000 public rental housing units by the year 2022. In the peace category, Gyeonggi Province initiated the resumption of inter-Korean exchange projects that had been suspended for eight years. Gyeonggi Province and North Korean authorities agreed on the establishment of a famous North Korean restaurant in the province. Gyeonggi Province also plans to provide northern provincial regions with special support for balanced development. To this end, the Gyeonggi Provincial Government has entered cooperation agreements with 10 cities and counties in northern provincial regions. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.